So some new leaked documents prove that Donald Trump's criminal investigation looking into his tax fraud and other potential crimes is far more advanced, broad, and serious than we originally thought. Basically, they are further along and they are looking into more things than we thought just a couple days ago. According to the Daily Beast who leaked these documents, they were the first to publish these documents. No one has seen them until now. It basically says that Donald Trump, in addition to general tax fraud, is being examined for potentially overinflating a property in upstate New York. Basically, he wanted to build something on it and then couldn't build something on it because the locals don't like him as we talked about yesterday and he couldn't get some of his plans to build an upstate manor and then tried to give the land away for a tax write-off although there's a real debate if the land had the value Trump said it did because he couldn't build anything on it and so basically he got 20 30 million dollars or so in a write-off for it when the land wasn't necessarily worth that much and if you over inflate the value of a donation or something to get more taxes from it, that's tax fraud. Just like if you lie to lower your income so you pay less taxes, if you lie about your deductibles to pay less taxes and you do so willingly, you know it's not a good faith mistake, that's criminal tax evasion. And Donald Trump is being investigated for that. So it's not just the company, it's not just his pure mathematical income levels and, and loan levels and all these sorts of things, it may include tax fraud on properties in up state New York. And so you can see the tentacles sort of reaching out from the center here, how it's impacting every corner of New York state. It's not just in New York city proper, it's everywhere in the state. And it's showing that Donald Trump, every step of the way, like the greedy SOB he is, tried to cheat the American taxpayer. A guy that has billions of dollars, multiple billions of dollars, trying every day to pay less taxes so that you don't have the services you need and in many ways paid less taxes than a teacher or a doctor or a nurse often do. We saw that last year, basically. Donald Trump paid less taxes federally than the average person, likely because he was committing tax fraud, doing things like overinflating donations and underinflating his income, right? And so this is really, really, really a big deal because it not only shows yet again that Republicans like to say they hate taxes, but they really only hate taxes for them and not working class Joes, but it also highlights Donald Trump's ego and his cheapness because you would think Trump's biggest worry is that he's going to prison. And I think he is worried about that. But if you read the story, it actually says that one of Donald Trump's biggest worries is that his lawyers are costing too much money. It says here, but one source of Trump's palpable anger with the New York investigations isn't the possible legal peril, it's the ballooning financial cost to him and his business empire. And it goes on to say that these lawyers are costing me too much money. What's the big deal? Why is this so expensive? And you can see why he gets into this trouble. If you're going to be a criminal, if you're going to be a criminal billionaire, you should understand that part of that, that cost is good lawyers. But we've seen that Donald Trump, he doesn't even pay his lawyers. He never even even paid Rudy Giuliani. Now, I'm not saying Rudy's a good lawyer, but he never even paid him. And now there's a chance that Rudy will be forced to flip on Trump because Rudy doesn't have the resources to pay for his own legal defense, right? Like this is really, really ironic here. And it goes to show that Donald Trump, what could ultimately send him to prison, unfortunately, isn't the awful thing he's done to women or the awful things he did on the Capitol or the awful things he did to American democracy, but his own cheapness. But if he goes away for any reason, so be it. I want to see justice no matter how it comes.